Hi, I'm Michael Knorr with Architecture Minute. Some of you may have been wondering what an architect actually does to move a project through an office. Well, it's different in every office, of course, but here are five phases that most architects would recognize as part of the process. The schematic design phase, as the name suggests, explores design schemes in a general sense, leaving specific details to later phases. In my office, the starting point before any drawings are produced is a program outlining the goals of the project. Programs start with general information on zoning, style preferences, exterior materials, and colors. Room sizes are automatically calculated as square footage. This is easily changeable as more input is provided by the client. Finally, floor areas are totaled. If any of the numbers are outside of the client's square footage budget, the program can be adjusted accordingly. Once the program has been approved by the client, the architect can begin actual drawings for the schematic design. We always show furniture on the plan, not because we're trying to act as interior designers, but because it gives a sense of scale to the rooms and demonstrates that there is at least one viable way to arrange real furniture in the space. We also show exterior elevations as part of the schematic design. The second phase is design development. This phase does exactly what the name says. The design is developed in more detail. Drawings become more technical with decisions made on the structural format, HVAC systems, window manufacturer, and exact material specifications. The third phase is construction documents. Construction documents include drawings and specifications that explain the project in sufficient detail for the contractor to bid the project, building permits to be obtained, and construction to be executed. In the old days, these drawings were reproduced on paper developed with ammonia, resulting in blue paper or blueprints, a term still used today even though the drawings are no longer blue. Bidding by the builder is done when the drawings are complete. In residential construction, the architect may have a small role, or perhaps no role at all, in facilitating this phase. In commercial projects, the architect's involvement may be larger and, in that case, should be clearly defined. When construction finally starts, the architect is usually involved in job observation, making site visits to review that the work is progressing in a manner that supports the design intentions. The architect is not required to be on site at all times, so the means and methods of construction are outside of his purview. However, questions do arise that at times may require a site visit to confer with the client or the builder. This is what an architect does in a nutshell. It is important to remember that there are many variations on this process, but the end result should be a building that reflects the goals of the client for a beautiful and functional project.